Here we are today at the Cincinnati Art Museum. We're here to find some secret steps of Cincinnati. Many of these steps are hidden deep in the woods, and when you walk through them, you feel like you're going on an adventure through a magical forest. One of the things you're going to want to do as you walk around Cincinnati is look for you know, little things that are hidden, little gems here and there. For instance, this right here is a pair of old Hanes underwear. Now, I'm sure there's just a great story here. Prospect Hill is a neighborhood on Mount Auburn, and we're going to go climb around on this neighborhood today. Now, the houses here should be pretty interesting. They're all made out of brick for the most part, and they're all from like the 1860s. Wow, Civil War. These are some of the stairs that are kind of tucked away and hard to find. They're called the city steps, and uh, they're right here on this busy road, but as you can see, they're enormous. Some of the steps are like really pristine over by like the art museum. They go through woods, and they've got little lands. Some of them are really gritty, like this is the middle. This is very urban. Look at this. It's garbagey, it's not very pretty, but I think it gets prettier as we go. The stink is immediately apparent on these steps. Yeah, this is <laughs> like, uh, I think people are confusing steps with uh, restrooms. <laughs> yeah, this is, we highly recommend this. This is great. <laughs> so much fun. Steps in Cincinnati. That's what you should do if you have a day off. This is the Young Street Steps. You can tell that this is very carefully maintained by some block association, neighborhood association or something. It's all manicured and beautiful, unlike the start of this trek. But uh, it's going to be another grueling vertical climb. Like we were saying, these, these steps give us little like sneak peeks into people's backyards. Check out this amazing tree fort. It's got a rope bridge. It's got a great view. This is a lucky kid. When this area was first being settled, they actually referred to this as Mount Poverty. It was just the sticks. This was like the wilderness of Cincinnati. But now, of course, it's some of the most expensive property, just like over in Mount Adams. Uh, so you've got this nice mix of these really beautiful, preserved 1860s homes mixed with this wonderful new architecture. This is a place to build. Cincinnati has over 400 sets of staircases maintained by the city. Many of these steps, like the one we're currently on, the Mount Adams steps, have a lot of religious history. Dating back to 1860, Catholic pilgrims would go up these steps on Good Friday, reciting the rosary until they got to the Immaculata Church. Mount Adams used to be home to the blue collar, the working class, but oh, those days are long over. This is some of the most prime real estate in all of Cincinnati. You can see why. Look at this view behind me. Now these are old historic steps, but they still do a, a very real function here in the city. This is the only access a lot of these people have to the sides of their houses. This book right here, Walking the Steps of Cincinnati, and it tells you all about the secret staircases. Yeah, give me a, a couple of quick paragraphs on what it says about these steps. Oh sure, it's really interesting. Right here, during the Civil Wars, several cannons were poised here. Does the book uh, recommend to take the steps? Yeah, yeah. It says go down these, these very steps. Okay. How soon are you going to be doing the steps? These steps? Yeah. And right now, we just walked up. That's my house. It's jungle. I mean, it is It's the. It is a, a deep forest in downtown Cincinnati. That's why I don't want you to tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, we just stumbled on these steps, and we, we realize now that some of these steps are made to be kept secret by the people who live basically on them. The only access this guy has to his house is via these steps, and he kept on telling us, he was like, don't tell anybody about these steps, okay? Don't tell anybody about these steps. So don't go on these steps. Now some of these steps go all the way back to the 1800s. But many of these steps were built by the WPA. That's the Works Progress Administration during the New Deal. So this is an incline that somebody owns at their personal house right here. It's just to get them up the stairs to their house. Captain Casey, we're on the viaduct right now, crossing back over to where the car's parked. What's going on? My zipper broke on my dress. Did that thing where it separates out. It's stuck on top. I'm out. I'm gonna zoom up so I'm not looking at your underwear. I'm in full view of the public right now. Here comes a jogger. This is the Elsinore entrance to Eden Park. It looks very dramatic, very castly. And the reason for that, and the reason for the name Elsinore, the architect based it on Elsinore Castle. He had just seen Hamlet. There are so many sets of steps around the city, and many of them are over 100 years old. You'll find a lot of variance in the condition of these steps. Like these ones, they look like they're ha hanging in here pretty good, but you can definitely tell they've been through some wear and tear. Here we are doing a walk of the steps of Alt Park. And it's going to lead us up to the Cincinnati Observatory. What? 
So we're uh, walking along uh, Erie Street right now, just past Marburg, as part of our walk around the observatory, and we just came across this house. Check this out. Are we sure this isn't just somebody's, uh, somebody's driveway? Here we are at the Cincinnati Observatory. It's the world's second largest refractory telescope. Refractory. Refractory. Well, this is another example of some closed steps, some steps that the city has completely barred you from going up. Look, they put up a little sign that says steps closed. I don't know where this goes. It's just sort of on the side of a busy road. But as you can see, both coming down and going up, no access. So that's it. That's our take on the steps of Cincinnati. Well, there's got to be a lot to explore in Dayton and Columbus. So if you've got any suggestions, let us hear it.